Hey guys, what's going on? Doug here. Welcome to Doug Sells. Got a bit of a different video for you today. Um, if you're new to the channel, I am a part-time reseller. I'm a part-time reseller. I do have a full-time job that I work 40 plus hours a week, but on the side, I like to resell. I like to make extra money. Um, it's, it, I just like doing it. It's fun, right? So <laughs> I like doing it. It's fun and you make extra money. So that's why I'm a part-time reseller. But today's video is about a buyout that I did. And I got a little story. I got a little story for you. Um, it was kind of, uh, I don't know. It was, it was almost kind of an emotional buyout. Like it was kind of a weird, a weird, but yet like a satisfying, uh, encounter with this man. Uh, if you're not interested in the story, you're just interested in the hall, then down in the first comment, I will put where the hall starts and you can just go down there and click on that. But uh, for those of you who like a little bit of story time, I'll try to make it quick, but um, I found this man, he's 80 years old and he was selling some sweaters, right? Online. And I reached out to him and they were older sweaters. And I, I looked up the brand of the sweaters and uh, he was selling them for $4 a piece. I looked up the brand of the sweaters and I saw they were selling between $25 and $35, right? So not a huge profit, but you know, it's still with me having a vintage store and I'm, I mainly have vintage stuff. Like they were vintage sweaters. So I reached out to him and I asked him if he still had the sweaters available. And he said, uh, he sold the three that he listed, but he has a lot more stuff if I'd be interested. And I said, yeah, I said, I'm interested to see what you have, you know, send me some pictures and we'll go from there. So over the course of the, the day, he, he sent me about a dozen pictures of more items that he had and it was stuff that i usually don't sell i'm more of a pop culture band tee vintage t-shirt not much into the vintage casual although there are some items that i pick uh, quite a bit but this is all name brand stuff it's it's vintage casual it's uh okay just not stuff i usually pick so i, I was kind of unsure about it but I, I told him i said i said yeah this stuff looks interesting I'd love to come by and take a look. I was like, but do you have any other stuff? Perhaps maybe t-shirts, hats, jackets, anything you can think of. I was like, even if I, and I use this term, this, this phrase exactly. I said, even if you think, oh, nobody will want that old thing. If you think that in your head, I still want to see it. <laughs> we set up a time and I went over to his house and guys, I was, I was actually going to record the interaction. I was going to ask him if I could record the interaction um, and I would throw in like an extra 20 bucks if he let me record it. Uh, but he warned me ahead of time that his wife has dementia and that he didn't feel comfortable. You know, he, he, he just wanted me to like be aware, right? He was kind of uncomfortable with me coming over, but he wanted me to be aware. So I get there and sure enough, his wife does have dementia. She's sitting on the couch. She's clapping her hands. And during the time that I was there, she got up, she walked around the room. She was singing a song. It was, it was, it was very, it was very kind of an emotional moment. And it's very sad because he's, he's trying to take care of her and he's trying to make sure that I'm okay. So I looked through all of his stuff. Long story short, I bought everything that he had. I bought everything that he had. Okay. With the exception of about four or five pieces, I, I bought pretty much everything that he had. Uh, I'll tell you how much I spent initially, and you'll know what I'm talking about when I say initially, because there's a, a different part to this story uh, that's coming up. But I bought 35 pieces of vintage clothing. Uh, it's a lot of old sweaters dating back to some sweaters that date back to the late 60s, a lot of disco style shirts from the 70s, stuff like that. You know, I'm just not stuff I usually pick, but I want to try it and try it out. So. So I bought 35 pieces for $250, which came out to be just over $7 an item, a little bit more than $7 an item. And I'm still new when it comes to picking uh, from an individual rather than thrift store. So I never know how much to offer them. And I told him that I wasn't very familiar with these types of clothing that I'm really kind of taking a chance here. I'm not sure what I can get for them. He was cool with it. And uh, he was actually expecting a lot less money than what I offered him. So he was very receptive and very happy with the number I gave him. So that was cool. But the problem was I didn't bring enough money. <laughs> I didn't bring enough money. So I told him, I said, I didn't expect you to have this much stuff. I was like, I don't have all the money that I want to give you. And he goes, well, how much do you have? I said, I have $175 on me right now. I was like, but I don't. I don't 
I, I feel weird asking you about this. I was like, but would you feel okay with me taking taking the stuff and then bringing you the rest of the money tomorrow? Or let me take half the stuff, and then when I bring you the rest of the money, I can get the other half tomorrow. He goes, uh, you know what? Don't worry about giving me any money today. Just take the stuff and bring it all and bring the money tomorrow. I said, no, 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 no. I want you to take what I have. So I gave him what I have and we loaded all the stuff in the truck. I told him to expect the call from me tomorrow so I could bring in the money. And so I did. I called him uh, probably about uh, 10 a.m. Called him and I, I went over to his house and he comes out and he meets me and he has another shirt. He gave that shirt to me. He said, no extra charge here. You can just have this shirt. And so I gave him 80 more dollars because I didn't have a five, but so I gave him 80 more dollars. And he said, you know what? And he takes $40 out of what I gave him. And he hands it back to me. And he says, uh, the world needs more people like you. He said, yesterday when you left and you gave me $175, he goes, that could have been the last time I ever saw you and you could have just been done with me. He goes, but you came back you gave me the rest of the money. You're an honest man. He goes, and in today's world, it just means a lot to me. And he he teared up. He teared up when he said this. And then I kind of got a little like, oh, God. You know, I was like, this really means a lot to him. So I told him, I was like, look, I don't want to take the money. I was like, but I can tell that this would really mean a lot to you if I took it. Because he was tearing up and everything. He said, it really would. It really would. Here, Use it for gas. Use it for whatever. So, um, like I said, it was kind of a weird interaction. But kind of like an emotional one but it was very positive and heartfelt interaction and i really loved that part of it so what i ended up with <laughs> when i said initially i paid 250 uh what i ended up with was 36 pieces not 35 because he gave me an extra shirt uh, for 210 dollars and it came out to be five dollars and 83 cents an item which is right on par for like thrift store prices and i don't i usually don't want to give people thrift store prices when i'm in their home when I'm picking their stuff. So that's the story. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna move to my cell phone for the haul. I'm not gonna sit in front of my webcam and hold up clothes like I usually do. But we're gonna we're gonna head into the room where I do all my listings, and I'm just gonna go through as many of the items that I can that I pick. Not gonna show you all of them, but just some of the very interesting items. Uh, so you guys can see what I got and let me know. Do you think I did well? All right, we're walking into the room where I do all my listings and take my pictures and store a lot of my stuff. Um, so here we go. See, here's my, my lamps with my umbrellas. Here's my table where I take all the pictures. Running out of room to hang stuff. Hang stuff there. And I have another closet where I hang stuff. This is inventory that needs to be listed. That stuff too, I don't know, it's a mess. I, I'm sure most of your <laughs> rooms look like this, but let's get to the to the hall. Uh, he had a one hat that I got in his uh, St. Louis Cardinals NL Central Champions hat from the year 2000, so that was cool. Um, here's the shirt that he gave me today when I brought him money back. Um, this is Robert Stock. He said these are from the late 80s, early 90s, and it is 100% silk shirt, like paisley type shirt. Um, not sure how much Robert stock is worth, but you know, I haven't done a ton of research yet. So I haven't done a ton of research yet. I looked up like a few items, uh, but not a good bit. I haven't really had a lot of time since I bought all this stuff, but, uh, here's one he said was from the seventies. Let's see if we can get in here and look at this yet. Yeah, Lancer, California. I don't know, but he, it's like, this is like a disco style shirt. It's rayon. And uh, I looked up some disco shirts and they do pretty well. Okay. Here's an interesting one. He said this is from the 80s. Uh, LA Times, California edition. Haven't looked this up, but it's interesting. It's like it's like a sweatshirt material almost, but it looks like a polo shirt. So we'll have to see how that does. Yeah, one of the good things about picking from an individual is they're able to tell you like how old these things are, like uh, what year they bought them and stuff like that. Uh, this is an Aero Blazer collection. This is uh, going to be from the 80s. And all this stuff is in perfect condition. Like, he took really good care of all this stuff. Like, this probably isn't a big money getter, but I bought it from him anyway. And uh, we'll, we'll see how much we can get. Yeah, like I said, if you if you watch my channel, 
this is generally not stuff that I pick, but uh, here's a uh, cardigan button up uh, sweater. Jansen, I'm familiar with that brand, uh, just not this particular tag. He said this is from the 80s. Here's a beautiful shirt. Look at all the flowers and the colors. Oh yes, oh yes. Stuart Mann, California. Haven't looked this up. I don't know what year this is from, uh, but it is, let's see, 65% Arnell, 35% nylon. What is Arnell? You know what Arnell is? I don't know what Arnell is, but uh, that is a, a beautiful vintage shirt. Hope it does well. He said this is from the 80s. I asked him specifically about this one. He said this is from the 80s. It is 100% uh, textured polyester with some crazy designs on it. So I'm hoping uh, this does very well. This beautiful piece is from the 70s. Towncraft Designer Collection, J.C. Penney. Uh, you can list this one as like a disco shirt. Let me tell you, I looked up a couple of disco shirts and some of them were in the 50, 60, up to $100 range. So we'll just have to do a little bit more research on, on the color and design and, and see what to list this one as. Here's another one with some crazy designs from the 80s. I thought it was really neat. Like I said, all this stuff is in perfect condition. Look at look at that collar. Look at that. See? Look at that. Man, that's nice. Uh, yeah, so we'll have to research that. But I thought that was a very nice piece there. All right, this is one of my favorite pieces here. He said this is from the 70s. Let's see if I can read that tag. Is that King's what? King's, King's Road? Can't really tell. Can't really tell. But 100% polyester. Now this one, let's see if you can tell, it's kind of see-through. See, you see how it's kind of see-through? See how the light's coming through it? It's uh, it's almost like a, like a fishnet almost. See how my hand is through it? And it feels, it feels like ribbed, it has texture to it, but really cool shirt. Yeah, this will probably fall in the disco category as well. Maybe, I don't know, but I'll have to do a little bit more research on it. All right, here we're getting into our 1960s sweaters. Here you go, sweater from 1960. Look at the bottom of it. See how it's cinched up like that. This thing was still in a plastic holder, like not holder, like like a plastic covering, like it had just gotten out from the dry cleaners. It, like I said, it's in perfect condition. Let's look at the 60s tag. There you go. There you go, Rudolph. Did I say Rudolph? Rudolph Knitting Mills. Yeah, I have to look that up. Haven't done any research on that. But uh, very cool, I thought. Another sweater from the 60s. Look at the bottom of it. See how it comes in like that? That's crazy. And then the button up here, all the way up. There's the tag. 100% wool. Absolute perfect condition. Look at the sleeve, those long sleeves. Man, this is an absolute perfect condition. Like, you couldn't ask for somebody to take better care of their clothes, especially with how old they are. So I thought that was a really cool piece as well. All right, this one's kind of crazy. Don't know what year it was made. Um, I'll have to look up that tag, but I'm thinking 80, early, not early 90s. But just the the design on it is just kind of kind of crazy, right? With the yellow stripe. And let's see. I don't know what it's made of, but anyway, it feels it feels like a heavy cotton, like a heavy knit cotton, but a uh, very cool sweater there. Now there are a couple of sweaters like this. Uh, he said these are late 80s, early 90s. There were two very similar uh, like this, but they're Christmas sweaters. Christmas sweaters are always good to have. All right, I've skipped on ahead, but here's like a uh, like a track jacket. And now this one is the only one he had that wasn't in the greatest condition. So he's very discolored here. Here, it's got a mark here, and it's got some marks on the back. But he said this is from the early 80s, called Hollywood Design. And uh, I just thought with the uh, the stripes across the front there, I thought it was a very interesting piece. And with it being in the 80s, it's right up my alley. So we'll see how we can do with this. All right, now these shirts slash jackets are very popular. Anyway, this is a very heavy, like plaid flannel jacket. It's in perfect condition. Here is the brand Manor House, not manure, Manor, Manor House. So I thought this was really cool, and we'll see how this does. But these these are very popular anyway. Like just, even if you get one that's not vintage, like people, you know, pay 30, 40, 50 bucks for these. So it's probably still in that same range, but uh, it'll cost a lot to ship though, because it's heavy. 
All right, here is a cool jacket. This is, he said this is early 70s. Here is the tag right here. He said this is early 70s. It's very heavy. Like it's, it's heavy. Like it's, <laughs> this thing is like, uh, this thing's no joke. Uh, I'm going to try to unbutton this and see if we can get a look on the inside. All right, here we go. This is my first look at the inside as well. It's, uh, man, it's lined with like, man, maybe it's polyester, like, I don't know what these numbers mean. Let's go over here. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, it's, but it's, and it's got something in it. Like it's, it almost feels like there's something in here too. It's not like down or feathers or anything, but I don't know. It's a very cool jacket from the early 70s. Hoping to do well on that. Here's another vintage Christmas sweater. There's the tag. But you can see like the snowflakes on the front there. And this, again, this is in perfect condition. Uh, I think this will do pretty well. And now a couple of beautiful shirts. <laughs> There's no tag on this one, but he said he got this in the 70s. And uh, look at that collar. Look at that collar. And look at the crazy designs on this thing, man. This is insane. So probably be able to put this in that whole disco category. Very cool. Like I said, no tag on it or anything. So I don't know like what brand it is. But it's just going to have to be listed as a generic disco 70s shirt and this one i actually looked this one up the brand is kiana i don't know how to say that but kiana um looked this brand up this is the very first shirt that i did look up just to see what we had here and the highest one that went that sold recently on ebay sold for about 60 bucks so we got some uh possible good returns there for this one but the designs on this are just crazy. This is also from the 70s. Real quick, he also had some some t-shirts, some vintage t-shirts from the 90s and 80s. Uh, no big money getters, but these are stuff that I like to pick. Here's one from the 90s. It is a Las Vegas shirt. This one is a sleep shirt. And I just thought it was, you know, kind of different. So I decided to take a chance on it. So here we are with this sleep shirt. It's got the single stitch. So No, it's double stitch, actually. But he said he got this in the 90s, so we'll, uh, it's post-95, so. Uh, here's a San Diego, California t-shirt. Uh, this one is single stitch, so you see there. So this is pre-1995. Looks like it's never been worn. Well, nope, there's a stain right there, so just kidding. Uh, here's another one from San Diego. Now, he was also ex-Navy, so I'm guessing that's where he's got these San Diego t-shirts from. Uh, this one still has a like a tag on it so i don't think this one's ever been worn to be honest with you and then here is one uh so this is the mascot for the minor league baseball team that we have here in memphis he's called rocky the redbird it's from 2002 so i went ahead and picked that it's got a coca-cola sponsorship on the back you know people love coca-cola and then this one he said he's never worn it from the 80s uh screen stars Takate. You all know the brand. It's like uh, hot sauce or salsa. I think it's salsa. Anyway, and it also says Cinco de Mayo on the back, and it says the Gulp of Mexico. So I thought it was kind of cool. And that's it. I didn't show you everything, but that's uh, that's a lot of the cool stuff. All right, guys, there you have it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Like I said, it's a little different, a little different experience when you pick from an individual. And the good thing about it is like all these clothes had one owner. They haven't been shipped through thrift stores and all this stuff. So and, and he was able to tell me about a few of them, like when he purchased them and stuff like that. So it was really cool. Hoping to do uh, some good profit on these items here. If you haven't subscribed and you're new, just subscribe, come back for more. And uh, I do sales updates every now and then. So hopefully I can show you some of these items in a future sales update so you can see what actually sells. And uh, sometimes I show you things I missed on, you know, items that aren't doing too well that I probably should have passed on. So thanks again, guys. Uh, like the video for me. It really helps the channel. Uh, I'd love to hear some comments on what you think about the haul. Again, if you're new, please subscribe and come back for more. All the social media is down in the description. I'd love to see you guys on social media as well. So have a good day. Happy picking. Take care.